everyone, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2020 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 9. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 9. Okay, this is question 9 and this question is testing us on angles. Let's read the question for part A first. A, B, C, D is a round burst. D, F, B, and D, E, C, G are straight lines. Part A. Find angle A, B, D. Okay, let's highlight the key information. So, A, B, C, D is a rhombus. So, this is A, B, C, D. Okay. So, this is A, B, C, D. So, this is a rhombus, right? Rhombus, all the sides are equal, right? And this rhombus is actually cut in half, right? So it actually forms two isosceles triangles. A, B, C, A, B, D is one of them. Over here, A, B, D is one isosceles triangle. And B, C, D is another isosceles triangle, okay? After that, D, F, B and D, E, C, G. Where is D, F, B? So D, F, B is a straight line. That is why this is cut in half, right? That is why it's, these are two identical isosceles triangles, okay? And DECG, where is DECG? This line is a straight line as well, okay? So this is what they meant. So these two are key information as well. Find angle ABD. Okay, where is angle ABD? Let me erase the highlighted portion. ABD. A over here. B over here and D over here. Okay, like I said, this is an isosceles triangle, right? So this angle is equal to this angle. So in order to find angle ABD, we know that the triangle ABD is basically isosceles. So in order to find angle ABD, we take 180 degrees minus 106 degrees divided by 2 degrees. 2, uh, sorry, divided by 2 because there's 2 equal angles, which will give us 37 degrees. So 37 degrees is also for here and also for here, okay? So I hope you understand that. So let me erase the highlighted portion. So the answer is 37 degrees, okay? Okay, part B. Find angle GCB. Where is GCB? GCB is over here, okay? Let me show you, okay? So, I hope you understand that. So, GCB is over here, right? G over here, C over here, and B over here. So, in order to find this, we know one property of our rhombus. Opposite angles are equal. So, this angle is also 106 degrees. And we know that angle, and we know that line DECG is a straight line, right? So, that is why we can do this. Since it is a straight line, this whole thing is 180 degrees. So basically, 180 degrees minus 106 degrees is the answer. Okay? So I hope you understand it. So this is how you do it. So for angle GCB, is basically 180 degrees minus 106 degrees, which will give us 74 degrees. Okay, let me write that down over here. 74 degrees. Okay, another point, since both of them are identical isosceles triangles, this angle is also 37 degrees and this angle is also 37 degrees. Okay, so angle B, D, E is also 37 degrees over here. B, D, E and also angle D, B, sorry, E, sorry, D, B, C, okay, is also 37 degrees. So this is how you do it. After that, they are, for part C, they are asking us to find angle E, F, B. Where is that? It's over here. E, F, and B. Okay? So let me highlight it so that you can see clearly. E, F, and B. Okay? Okay. Now you can find this angle over here, right? This angle. Because this line, D, E, C, G, is a straight line. So it's 180 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 54 degrees, it will give us 126 degrees. Okay. Now we can find this angle because 
uh, this is a triangle D F D D F E is a triangle right so let me erase the highlighted portion and show you where's the triangle okay so this is actually a triangle so we, we know that in a triangle all the angles add up to 180 degrees so 180 degrees minus 37 degrees minus 126 degrees so you will give us 17 degrees okay so let me erase the highlighted portion you will give us 17 degrees right so 17 degrees after that we also know another line that is straight dfb yes dfb is also straight so this line over here is also straight so in order to find angle efb we just need to take 180 degrees minus 17 degrees which will give us 163 degrees as the answer okay so i hope you understood my explanation for this question part a b and c and i hope you have learned something new and thank you and bye bye i'll see you in my next video bye